Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Legislative Military Oversight Senator Jose Pito Terlahi set the tone early in Adjutant General nominee Colonel Esther Agagi's confirmation hearing. We're going to confirm you, guaranteed. So, you know, and that's not even an understatement, ladies and gentlemen. Bureau of Women's Affairs head Jane Flores citing Agagi's list of firsts. Include being the first and only female officer in the Guam National Guard to have graduated from the 10-month resident class of the United States Army War College in 2017. Colonel Agagi is also the first woman to have been named a sergeant in the Air National Guard and the first woman to have commanded a battalion level in the Guam National Guard. It is appropriate that our first Magahaga, Lourdes Leon Guerrero, would appoint Colonel Agagi to become the first female Adjutant General of the Guam National Guard. Agagi telling the senatorial panel she's already acted on guard issues reported in the Leon Guerrero Tenorio Transition Report. The Guam Army National Guard has revised personnel actions processes to attract a wider pool of applicants, to address gaps in retirement eligibility, and to increase the female ratio in key leadership positions. Emotions ran high as Senator Regine Bisco Lee asked Agagi about anonymous attacks on her qualifications. Lee asked if Agagi could still be fair. I am a Christian, a spouse, and a mother. In that order, I, I turn to prayer. And what keeps me centered I pray for my enemies. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.